My name is Brian and welcome back to Desert Theory. Well, last week we got the transaxle pulled out. We we're going after that rear main seal, trying to get into it so we can change it out. Well, after getting the flywheel off, we realized that that rear main seal on this car is behind the crank. So we have to drop the oil pan out and then reach that uh, rear main seal from up underneath. So we'll see how far we get on that tonight, but uh, that's the plan. So here we go. Kelly's down here working and he has almost all the bolts off of this oil pan and all the oil fittings so he's getting real close to be able to drop this down now you can see we don't have a ton of room here so we're hoping that oil pan drops down far enough to clear everything up in it and we can scoot it out the back here so uh, we really don't want to have to pull the motor but we're gonna find out here in a second what we need to do all right, let's see if this thing's gonna come out of here nice and easy, Brian. Oh, it's so close. It does not, it does not like that bracket, though. You can see he's kind of fighting that bracket up front. We don't want to be fighting this bracket. It does not like that. All right, Cal, I'm gonna push on it. <laughs> Got it. Woo! Actually, if we finesse it, I think it'll go back in there. It was just, I don't know that, yeah, it came out pretty easy. Okay, so it was so close there. What we did is kind of stacked up some wood here to get a it's a pry bar right on there. Lifted the back of the motor up just a bit if you couldn't see that. So now we'll get our blocks out of the way and see if that plan pan will come the rest of the way out. Okay, so that is pretty cool. We got it out. There was just enough room there. So Kelly, can you show that gasket? It looks to me like the backside of that gasket's actually deteriorated too. Yeah, so this this is part of the pan gasket and this part is, is rubber. It's kind of starting to fall apart, probably due to the fact that it sat for 10 years um, and didn't get run a lot. So that happens, the rubber kind of gets hard, it doesn't seal and then a leak creates, a, or excuse me, a leak starts happening and then it, uh, it needs to be taken apart and put a new seal in. Oh, wow. Wow, hold it, hold it, hold it. See how it's got O-rings? Uh -uh. This one's got O-rings, Brian, that are actually kind of holding it together. <laughs> Pull that again. It's a little different style. There's no way to, the, the engine builder must, see that? Maybe that's the type of steel seal it is. Just rip it out, break it. Is there one or two? Two. Huh? huh? That's a surprise. Is this a one piece? It's two piece. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's a one piece. Wow. You feel how hard it is. Yeah, so this thing is just so old. Yeah, I think this will be a pretty quick clip on the video. I don't think we're gonna spend a lot of time on this one. No, this is one of those that it's like, good Lord, it takes all night to do and it's three minutes of YouTube. Cause it's boring. It is, but we're not boring. I mean, wait. I need a little to touch. Yeah, those O-rings, those are Viton. That, that. Viton. That special Viton O-ring. Viton. 
What do you need, Bri? Paper towel? No, I think it's a mixed seal. Oh, you got it in? Okay, cool. There you go. So Brian has the new seal here. This is one half of it. And it's all got a nice soft lip that uh, is good, good rubber. So it'll seal up against the crank and uh, yeah, keep the oil in the motor. So then it was saying like about a three eighths of an inch to one side. So push the other one through. Oh, that's good. That'd be good. It has studs, so we're good. All right, everybody. It's kind of like Christmas over here. We got our parts. Big Heim joints. Those are for the trailing arms. Things are massive and expensive. Ooh, new CV boots. New bolts. Clutch slave cylinder. Okay. Look at that. So that is a brand new Fortin CV with the brand new ball bearings cage star and that looks really nice it costs a lot but that looks really nice what else we have grease we got molly lube oh seals oh. there's that uh bearing seal remember the one that kelly um, showed you the trick where he drilled through with the sheet metal screw to get something to pull up out of there and not ruin the bearing um what else oh this is our clutch clutch alignment tool all right that looks like it you see the cv joint boots and the uh high joints yes good they were hidden over there i thought maybe they might might not have jumped out at you well good morning so yesterday was pretty darn successful with the parts we had. It would have been awesome to have that oil pan gasket, but it just wasn't available. So we didn't, we weren't able to get that back together. Uh, this morning, I think I'm just going to wash the trailer, get the Baja cleaned up. But I was kind of, we were thinking last night and I'm just, I feel like we've talked about it 30 times now, but I feel like we've always done a poor job of explaining what the CV joints do. We talk about the grease and how it's hard to get out, and but we don't really explain well what it does. So I'm gonna try it again. So with CV, we're gonna say this is bolted to the axle, stub axle. So this is the tire on this side. Over here is the transaxle. So the, the CV's job is to, to take that axle and allow the axle to move up and down and the wheel to stay straight while still maintaining. So when the tire goes up, the star is able to move down. And when the tire or when the tire goes down, the CV joint star is able to move up. The whole time keeping that in line with the axle and the, the transaxle. So the other cool thing is when you rotate it forward, it still keeps that angle towards the CV, allowing the tire to stay flat. So it's just pretty, it's a pretty neat piece. Um, there's a lot of design and engineering that went into these and just how amazingly strong they are. So again, this is a, a Fortin piece. We paid a little bit of extra money for it and just couldn't be happier. It comes with a step already built in and that's what goes into that hub assembly. So just a neat piece. Uh, just again, complimenting uh, Fortin on the, the customer service and the quality of product they make. Pretty neat. Well. We kind of messed up when we built this. We don't have a we don't have a cup holder. And a cup holder is kind of a handy feature when it's street legal. <laughs> kind of crazy. Technically, I'm not sure it's all the way street legal, but we do have license plates for it. That's close enough, right?
Well, got those cleaned up. I think I better get out of here and do some projects at the house for a little bit. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if I've actually showed this on uh, YouTube yet. So I keep saying that uh, Kelly's dad, Bobby, owned a wrecking yard and had a lot of stuff. And uh, this is kind of a little lean-to with lots of parts and pieces. And Anybody need Volkswagen parts? Leave a comment if there's some certain Volkswagen part you need. I bet you Kelly might be willing to make a deal on some of this stuff. Well, I got the uh, trailer and the Baja cleaned up. I need to get out of here and get home and do some chores. Um, next week should be pretty darn fun getting that oil pan gasket and starting getting this thing back together. Thank you for taking the time to watch us. Please like and subscribe.